these are the tools that we're going to be using for building the hydroponic system. In the back we have the net pots. Underneath the net pots are the drippers. Underneath the drippers are the connectors. And the connectors are used to hook up the spaghetti line, which hooks up to the drippers for pouring the water. Then we have the air hose. And we have the drain valve. We have a stop. We have a connector for the air water pump. And we have the water pump. And that is the hose for the water pump. And finally, we have the air pump. So one of the simplest systems that you can build. So what I have here is just a 10 gallon uh, Rubbermaid or Sterilite container and that's uh, roughly 20 or 38 liters. Um, I have a lid and just a small container. First thing I want to do is I've attached a, a hole saw uh, cutter and I'm going to cut holes. For this particular system it's either going to be growing lettuce or herbs so I'm going to drill six holes into here. It's always important to start on the edges first, so I'll start on this edge, then I'll move to the far edge, and then I'll move to the other side, and then I'll cut the middle. If I was going to grow cherry tomatoes, I would have drilled just two holes, one right here and one right here. Uh, cherry tomato plants grow quite large and this system also works great for running cherry tomatoes. After our lid is cut, the second thing that we're going to do is drill a few other holes. We are going to need a drain hole about right here. and. This is our drain hose, and this is our drain valve. The what I'm going to be using is called the step drill, and the size I'm going to go for is uh, about an uh, inch and, uh, and a quarter. The next step is to drill a hole for the hose for the drain valve. And that just acts as a holder. And that's perfect. I'm now gonna grab my lid again put it on and we're going to drill some holes for the spaghetti line to feed through after. We'll need a total of six holes, one for each net pot. That takes care of our lid. We're going to piece together the materials for the water pump and what I have in my hand here is the attachment for the water pump. This just screws in like that and I'm going to place this guy, this hose on here. But before we do that we're going to piece this together. So this one just goes inside here. This is a stop because the water is going to pump through this hose and this is going to stop the water from coming out and then it's going to feed through all the holes I punch in here.
the next stage is to take a tool and you just poke in a total of six holes. Just one, two, and three on this side. And I'm going to punch three more holes all in the middle on the other side. Just one. Two and three. I'm now going to grab six connectors. These are the connectors and insert them into these holes. You can use pliers for this stage as well, but I find that this tool works great. I'm now going to take that and screw that into the water pump. I've now placed the water pump inside the reservoir and I'm going to cut a little hole just using a hacksaw, any saw will do, uh, just to get a little piece out here for the cord to sit down so it's flush when I put on the lid. I'm going to drill one more hole through here for our air line. This will be used for our air stone. I'm now going to take our air line and I'm going to feed it through the hole I just drilled. This will be used to hook up our air stone. It will sit inside the reservoir and the other end hooks up to our air pump. Now this is a dual air pump. What, what, what I do in this system is I would hook up two air stones until I was ready to start another reservoir or another hydroponic system and then I take the one air stone out and feed it into another one. That way it doesn't waste two electrical sockets and these ones are usually about only five dollars more and so they're definitely worth it. Thank you.